Hi, Stair students. My name is Miss Johnson, and I'm so excited because I'm going to be reading a story to you today. The name of this story is The Lion and the Mouse by Bernadette Watts. So let's get started. It's one of my favorite stories to read to students. Nice illustration here. The Lion and the Mouse by Bernadette Watts. The lion cubs played happily in the sunshine while their parents slept nearby. The day grew hotter and hotter, so hot that the cubs grew tired. One by one, they lay down to rest in the shade near their parents. Only one of the cubs kept on playing despite the heat. When the blazing sun was at its highest, however, it was too hot even for him. So he padded over to a shady spot at the edge of the jungle and went to sleep. And that's him over here. Suddenly, a little mouse scampered across the sleeping lion cub's paw, tickling him and waking him up. The lion cub snarled angrily. The mouse froze, too terrified to run away. I'm sorry I woke you, she said, trembling. And if you can't see, this is the little mouse right there. When the lion saw that it was only a harmless little mouse, he smiled and said, Oh, you go off, little one. I won't hurt you. Oh, thank you for sparing my life, said the mouse. One day I will repay your kindness. If you ever need help, send for me. The lion laughed out loud. <laughs> I am much bigger and stronger than you, he said. And soon I shall be even bigger and stronger. A mouse cannot help a lion. The lion stood up and stretched to show just how big and strong he was. Proudly, he walked away. The mouse ran in the other direction. Here's the mouse running off. Years passed and the cub grew into the biggest and strongest of all the lions. He was now the king of the beasts. The days were long and hot, and every day at noon, the great lion would go to sleep in the shade. If the mouse happened to run by, she kept well away from the lion's paws. Some very nice illustrations, and here's the mouse far, far away from the lion's paw. One day, when the lion headed for his resting spot, he fell into a trap. The more he struggled to get free, the more he entangled himself in the net. The king of the beasts was caught. He gave a mighty roar. He roared with rage. He roared in fear. Then he roared for help. The animals of the day heard his call and rushed up to him, but they couldn't help. I wonder who's gonna be able to help him and here the lion is caught up in the net. Night fell and the lion was still trapped in the net. The animals of the night crept up to see the captured lion, but they couldn't help him either. Early the next morning, the mouse appeared. You called for me? She asked. I will help you, as I promised I would years ago. The lion looked at the mouse in amazement. No one can help me, he said, least of all you. The mouse started nibbling through the cords of the net, one after another. Be patient, lion, she said. Soon you will be free. Before long, the mouse had chewed a hole in the net and the lion pushed himself through it. The lion was free. He stood before the mouse and bowed his head. Thank you, little mouse, he said. I will never again laugh at someone weaker or smaller than myself. To repay your kindness, I promise I will always protect you. And so the little lion and the mouse remained the best of friends until the end of their days. And here is the little mouse there. The end. Now that we finished the story, the lion and the mouse, let's answer some questions about the text. My first question, what words would you use to describe the lion? What words would you use to describe the mouse? And those words are called character traits. So what are some words you would use to describe the two main characters? Take some time to think and share it out with someone near or someone close. 
My next question is, what lesson did the lion learn? He learned a very powerful lesson. Let's think, at the beginning of the story, he definitely didn't want the mouse's help because he felt like it was too small. So what lesson did the lion learn? I'm so, I'm so excited because I know you guys have some amazing answers. And my last question for you is, what did you learn from the story? The story definitely taught a very valuable lesson. So make sure you share that out with someone. What did you learn from the story? I've had a 